Welcome to another episode of Flash Performance where I'm gonna do what I've been told to do for years and stick it where the sun don't shine. Hey, that's not very nice. If you're like me, you have projects upon projects upon projects backing up. And one of the new projects that I got was to do an engine swap for an LS in an 82 Chevy truck. So the friend of mine brought me the truck and brought me an engine. Is it good? That's the question. So I've done as much as I can without tearing the heads off of it, but I want to look into the spark plug holes, check out the cylinders, make sure everything's good before I take the time to stick it in the new truck. So that's where this comes in. This is from Autel. This is an MV500. I got this from my Cornwell dealer, and I'm going to use this to be able to inspect the holes in the engine block. So how does it work? Well, this is a digital inspection camera from Autel, and this is a wireless Android-based inspection camera. So let's do an unboxing. I'll show you what's in the box, and I'll show you some details of it, and then I'll show you how it looks. One of the nicest features about this tool right off the bat is it comes in a hard case. You can put this in your cabinet. You don't have to worry about packing this away in your toolbox. It comes with locking tabs and everything fits in this case. Let's talk about some of the different components that come inside the case. You have your Android tablet with the camera head. You have the owner's manual. The camera head is separate from the tool. Let's put this all together. This is wireless to the tablet via Wi-Fi, so the camera head actually comes off and is separate from the tablet. The tablet is an Android-based 5-inch LCD touchscreen. We're going to take this cover off here just so we can see it a little bit better. This Android-based tablet runs a 1280 by 720 resolution screen, so you get a good, clean, big picture. It has an HDMI output, so if you wanted to put it onto a bigger screen, you could. It has the USB, and it also has a micro SD port for up to a 32 gig card for extra memory, saving pictures or videos or anything along those lines. There's a camera on the back of the tablet that you can use directly from the tablet to be able to see right behind it. So if you have something specific on the outside that you want to take a picture of, you can do that also. Inside the box, you have the charging plug and the charging plug comes with a double end. So that double end allows you to charge both the tablet and the camera head at the same time. There are also three accessories that can go on the end of your camera. You have a magnetic base, you have a hook, and a 45 degree mirror. But let's talk about what makes this so special. What makes this different than everything else? You have your normal camera on the end, but you also have a camera on the side. So this comes with a 90 degree camera on the wireless head. So we're gonna turn this on by pushing the power button here on the front. That creates a Wi-Fi connection to the tablet. Now the tablet is Wi-Fi, so it can be updated via your local internet, but you cannot be on the internet at the same time that you're connected to your camera. I'm gonna move this box out of the way so we can get a better picture of just the tablet. Now the tablet comes on its own little stand. The stand comes with multiple settings for angle, so you can adjust that to however you want to, depending on what you're inspecting and where the tablet's going to be. Now on the tablet, we can see that we're using the back camera right now. So what we want to do is we want to select camera, and then pick the forward-facing camera, and that changes over to the inspection camera that's wireless. Now, if we wanted to, we can change that same camera to both 90 degree 
and the straight forward facing. Now you'll notice that one camera image is here, the other camera image is here. If you wanna switch those, and it changes right over. Now let's talk about the wireless camera. So you can see that we have the power on off button, but we also have bright and darken. So we can change the value of the LED brightness on both the forward facing camera and the 90 degree camera. So we can adjust the brightness to make sure that we have the right amount of light in whatever we're inspecting. We also have the ability to change from a video to a photo right here on the remote. Plus there also, you'll notice a flashlight button up here. If you look at the remote, it has a flashlight built into it also. So Auto really thought of everything when it came to this style setup. Let's make it work. I'm gonna change the tablet over to record mode. So that way we can do recording and you can see exactly what I'm seeing without having to try and get the camera onto the tablet. Now when you're in record mode, you cannot change the head placement. So we're gonna go through this a couple times. I'm going to uh, go through it with both and we'll see what we see. So we're gonna go ahead and click record. There's the ceiling of my garage. There's that good looking guy. All right, let's put this in here. Very dark in here. Turn on some light. Okay. Carbon buildup, no surprise there. So right now we're looking at the forward facing camera. And I can tell that because of the icon on the screen. I'm not getting a lot of good view out of the forward facing camera. So let's see if we can switch over to the side view camera. I wasn't getting a very good view because of the way the spark plug hole is, but look at that. So I got the side view camera on now. Let's see if we can get that back into frame. What is that? That looks like chunks missing out of the side wall. Well, that's not good. Let's rotate around. There looks like a crack. There's the piston again, and there is more chunks, it looks like, at the bottom of the cylinder. Ooh, that's not looking good. Let's see if we can get up a little bit higher. So we're going to try and rotate this around. That would be the cylinder head. Oh, wow. Those are divots out of the cylinder wall. See that, that line right there is my LED. Let me see if I can dim that down a little bit. Ooh, there you can see the cracks really good. Brighten it up. See those big divots in the side there? Ooh, that's really bad now. Dim that down. Yowza! All right, let's switch back over to the other view. Now we're on forward facing camera again. And I see a big old crack. Oh, look at that big old crack. Right there in the edge of the cylinder wall.
Well, there you have it. We know where that engine's going. <laughs> not in a truck, thanks to my MV500 from Autel. Now, this is a slick little setup, well worth the money. The definition of those pictures was amazing. I was able to grab captures, I was able to grab the video. Now I can send that to my friend slash customer and let him know, hey, we have more issues and I have to take the heads off to verify what we saw because it looks like it froze at one point and cracked a whole bunch of that cylinder and maybe even a little bit of rust in there. So. That means I have more work ahead of me, but thanks to the MV500 from Autel, I know which way I'm going. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out more information in the description below. I'm Chad, Flash Performance. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.